This week's topic, fitness, gym bros, Sam Sulik. I'll uh, show them to you. All right. <laughs> so to start off with, we got someone at the gym here, short shorts, so much powder, it's on the back of his hand. <laughs> A bro tank top to him. <laughs> and look at all that weight. One side of that fucking bar is twice the size of him. <laughs> so we're looking at about four times his weight? Yeah. He's, his legs are already buckling. <laughs> I feel like this isn't going to end well. Can't even get it off. Come on. <laughs> Check the weight a little bit. Let's see it again here. He gets all hyped up to go to Pinkberry when he goes eats with his boyfriend. <laughs> Let's go back here. <laughs> what do you think of the yell before uh, the attempt to uh, lift all that weight? That psycho? <laughs> I've never personally done that before. What did I you just said, "Let's get it done." I don't, I don't get angry and psyched up to do it, and then you just don't fail. Like, <laughs> nope, that ain't happening. I think let's start with putting on a full shirt. <laughs> when we go into a gym and maybe shorts that don't let our butts hang out from the shorts so that would be very very helpful then start there and then move down your weight because then, clearly you can't lift it i just noticed too um let's go back a little bit pretty sure the guy's barefoot yeah yeah that's not barefoot. safe either just just think think if like he collapsed and then the weight fell on him then think if it fell on his toe yeah goodbye toe <laughs> forever yep that's not a smart guy. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, that's my boy. Yeah, Why are you fucking remind like... me about my dextro shake? Oh my god. I'm like steroids. Oh, I just shake. lost game. <laughs> oh shit, leg jogger. That's some David Goggins level shit. <laughs> you think he's real or natural? Or I mean, do you think he's you like that? natural oh, or shit. Android? <laughs> It's a little oh giggle, that's weird. Chest day was fucking sweet. Oh, him, he's on roids. <laughs> but the time is 11. There's limitations to the human body, there really is. And I had homework due at midnight. Oh, Jim Bro was uh, at huh? the gym too late. Shit. I don't want to say it, let the machine also, speak to me. It's not. Yeah, who's, who goes to the gym till almost midnight? Anyways. Let alone you just so happen to have homework. Isn't that a little. So that's that's a, yeah, it is obsessive. That's spiritual. All right. I just got shut down. No more filming. I got. Why are you holding your hands like a cop? I don't know what like you're a bouncer. <laughs> like, why do you do that? I'll break it down at the end, but no more. Planet Fitness kicking him out, telling him he can't film. Ah, yeah, good. Not everybody <laughs> wants to see your stuff. <laughs> Some people actually want to go there and be in peace and not have some sort of TikTok star oh, shit. film in their gym. Real or roids? Roids. 21 years old. Roids. Uh, or around 21. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's not natural. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, in the next video here, let's the look Sam at his diet. The diet is so legendary that even junk food is considering a restraining order. Here is what he eats during his bulk. Sam consumes around 5,000 calories a day but nothing comes from a healthy source. He starts his day with his favorite meal, 1,000 calories of chocolate milk. All this has lots of sugar, fat, and protein. Next, he eats four servings of cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> Even he knows how much milk he adds to his cereal. He believes he wants 400 grams of carbs in his system before he lifts. Then he has the only healthy meal of his diet, the post-workout protein shake. After that, sometimes he eats burgers, goes to the subway, or Five Guys, and just wow. eats food life. After that, he eats five four guys, big that's good. donuts. Oh, donuts! Cream, along with four cups of milk. And sometimes More milk. after, he likes to have ice cream as dessert. Ice cream. Throughout the day, he takes various supplements as well, like vitamins, creatine, pre-workout. Got a lot of that vitamin juice. S. No what do you think? <laughs> you be able to follow that's what he's taking for vitamins. In the comments. Also, share this insane bulking diet with your gym bro. So, is this a diet you would recommend to someone? No. <laughs> I'd recommend this diet to somebody who wants to gain 300 pounds. <laughs> but if you don't have access to that vitamin S that I just mentioned, the then you're not going to look like him. So Sorry. <laughs> and this is like a, you know, robot voice. But they did I take know. this from one of his videos. This isn't just made up, you know, 10 That's different days. This is actually like one. He made like a diet video day. <laughs> And how can you know drinking I, that much milk be good for you? Like, 
the there's uh, <laughs> there are like fat proteins and stuff in chocolate milk. But the point being is, the chocolate milk is not what's bad. It's the crap that he eats. You know, if you ever asked a actual world class bodybuilder what they ate, it's chicken, uh, chicken, vegetables, more chicken, vegetables. A yeah. lot of freaking water. Yes, chocolate milk. I have seen like athletes and stuff drink it because it has. The point of chocolate milk is mainly as a protein source and as a post workout source as well. A lot of it's like equivalent to drinking a protein shake. Yeah. So, yeah. but no, the crap he eats. No, no. Uh, you just brought That's it up too. Not what bodybuilders eat. <laughs> We got one guy doing a weight. I didn't think his technique was all that bad. Another fella here is uh, telling him he's doing it wrong. I don't think these two know each other. This is like security footage or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're, already, you're already looking like you know where this is going to go. Go ahead. So Scrawny uh, was going to go so, correct him. So again, in the beginning, I, I watched this a couple of times again. I'm, I'm showing, for the people watching, I'm showing you this. I don't really think the form is that bad. This guy, the guy that comes up is trying to say, you need to use like your hips and stuff more. But he didn't need to use it. Let me phrase it this way, people. Would you take diet advice from a 400 pound <laughs> mammoth? <laughs> Would you take weightlifting advice from a 150-pound scrawny <laughs> dude? I'll leave it up to you. Let's say you're at the gym. You're doing this. Bro comes up to correct you. Can't, yeah. even, get, can't even get the weight off the ground. <laughs> that's, I, that's exactly what I do, what that fine gentleman was doing. Take Let him take sweater. it off my hands and see what you can do. <laughs> oh, wait, you can't even get it up off the floor. This has got to be like the most embarrassing thing you can possibly right. do at the gym. <laughs> Don't ever correct somebody and never walk up to somebody. This is so narcissistic and I'm better than you attitude. Don't ever do that. If somebody asks for help, yeah, help them. But that's just, but, that's narcissistic. But do you really think this form is really that bad? The like, reason that he's saying it's a bad form is because the way his back is rocking. So when you do that, your back should be straight up and down. Boom, boom, boom. He's rocking his back, which when I was weightlifting, I would do too. I, but, I've done that before. I'm guaranteeing that's the reason he's going up there because he's saying that because he's rocking with his back. That's all I could say would be bad with the form. But yeah. no, you're right. It's not something that you need to go up and freaking show him what to do and you can't even lift the freaking bar. Don't, Don't distract, distract my spotter. I'm so sorry. I'm yeah, I'll so let it slide this time. <laughs> okay. So he must be lifting like a ton of weight here, and the guy's like shocked. Or he's shocked at him just being Sam, I guess. It's not like in my mind I thought to myself, okay, I have just finished three sets of bench at RPE 8.7. I think some cable presses will activate my inner fibers more effectively. And then one set of cable press will help define the outer sweep of my lower pack. It's now time. That's my cue to do some pectoral flies. No, I'm thinking, all right, I just fucked the shit out of my chest on those bench sets. Solid burn on the cables. Press is also burn. Well, let's do some flies. Well, don't think about it too hard, you know. Presses in the beginning, heavy. And then, you know, flies or lighter presses where you focus on squeezing at the end. So yeah, what do you, what do you think of that kind of content for a YouTube channel? That's annoying. <laughs> It's a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> yeah, like, you can't even follow what he's talking about, so it doesn't matter. Hey, don't distract Useless. my spotter. I can't, you know what's funny about this video? is He's he's yelling at this kid who is just, Don't distract my spotter! Like, you could, like, he, and Sam's probably going to be like, Oh, I could beat you up. You couldn't even catch him. He'd run away, boom, <laughs> done. you get out of your grass so quick. <laughs> don't distract my spotter. I want you to focus on what you're doing. <laughs> you know, a good person, when you're zoned in, Outside distractions aren't actual distractions. But you want to be uh, a dick in front of people because you have a camera, sure, do it. Very bad. I hate watching people bench press with no spot when they can't do it. <laughs> <It's the worst. laughs> That's why you use clips. Or, or Again, pins, yeah. Yeah. Again, safety. 
Do not bench God. like that idiot at home. You will hurt yourself. The oh, weight goes flying like that. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Okay, this is a first. I've never seen a guy eat and do that at the same time. Oh, yeah, he's even got the towel. Where you go? Oh. Ooh, Ooh, that hit your butt. That'll hurt. Oh, this guy's doing something. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> not good. These guys. Obviously, that's this is bad. How do you expect that to work, dude? <laughs> oh, here we go. So oh, yeah, fall over. over. Beautiful. What about that gym, bro, though, too? I can manage two sure. girls. Oh, it's you can't off. breathe. Yeah, look. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> he's lucky that the rat caught it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Did you see that? Oh. Bye. This guy. Let's see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's lovely. Front squats. This this is torturous on the breathing for sure. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, he's lucky. And like, yeah, that's that happens at and like a lot. These Miss the re rack. Yeah, miss the re rack a little. Oh, fuck. He's not perfect. Let's not yeah. be on roids. You leave feeling like your biceps are empty. And now, okay, what was this, that? he was, it's like the, the chest kind that, like, you pull oh, down yeah. or whatever, because, like, you can see the bar. Mm -hmm. This one, he was filming with some other famous people. This has got to be staged <laughs> or something. Come on. This equipment looks brand new. Right. They're going to put a cable that isn't strong enough to do all the weight. Right. I never understood bands or anything like that. Why the fuck would you not squat for the safeties? I'll never fucking understand you guys who do that. You see this hot girl behind me? You do your 30 minutes of cardio a day. She'll be yours. Is that, a <coughs> Is that what it takes? 30 minutes of cardio a day? <laughs> no. I'm not talking to you, bro. <laughs> Alright, well, I gotta go to bed. I gotta wake up early so I can go do my cardio. And with cardio. You need lighter weight. You gotta be fucking kidding. Holy fuck. <laughs> Roids? Okay, or natural. It's the fun. Ah, oh, dude. Eight o'clock, get your kids. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see this hot girl behind me? You do your 30 minutes of cardio a day. She'll be yours. Do you agree with that? <laughs> no. <laughs> and not when your ego is bigger than your frickin' body. You, you see this say, fucking bicep? Huh? You gotta listen to what the fuck you gotta say? You see this <laughs> oh my God. your teacher tells you your assignment huh? is late. You gotta listen to what the fuck you gotta say? You see <laughs> What do you think of that tough guy? <laughs> he's fucking <boy> <laughs> Yeah, I see that, but I don't see a brain in there. <laughs> he's just all muscle. This fucking bicep? Huh? You gotta listen to what the fuck you gotta say. Big tough guy. You see this fucking bicep? Huh? You gotta listen to what the fuck you gotta say. Nobody's listening to what you have to say. <laughs> God. That would be torture. Hey, I really don't love seeing the posts. Where it's oh. some dude talking, and he's like, you do not, or no, no, he's like, you cannot train to fit every set. If you know anything about the gym, you'll know training until failure every session is a complete waste. Instead of being sore and not training for a few days, I lower the intensity at higher volume, so I'm able to output more training over time than the average gym rat. This improves gains and greatly reduces the risk of potential injury, which makes the way I train a lot more sustainable in the long run. I kind of think you're just being a baby. So let's throw this shit around. <laughs> what? 
So yeah, what side of the fence are you on? Train until failure or put a little bit of weight on there? Mm. Like him or not, he, that, that last little bit there, he's got so much weight on. He, he only did like one or two right. right. Yeah, again, this gym advice. Look at that, gloves and the powder. Kind of. He does not need that for the light waves. <laughs> I lowered the intensity at higher volume, so I'm able to output more training over time than the average gym rat. Powder. This improves gains and greatly reduces the risk of potential injury, which makes the way I train a lot more. The way you train, you train like a five-year-old. <laughs> Okay, just for the record, I have weightlifted and I have done that all back in the day. I've seen football players do that. Powder is really only used, and even our boy Sam doesn't even use powder. Yeah. The only people I've ever seen actually use powder are the world's strongest men when they have to, like, lift 1,000 pounds. This dude's lifting baby weight and he's using powder and gloves. Sure, maybe you want to risk injury. I don't, or minimal risk injury. I don't know. You do not need powder for light weights, okay? But risk injury. I mean, a little. And by the way, on your hand isn't an injury. By the way, let me let me explain something to you. That's there's so much wrong with that. You have a glove on. You do not need powder. The glove will grip it for you. The whole point of powder is to help. I believe so it like doesn't rip your skin and stuff and yep. that you can lift half your weight. I don't know the science of it, but I know I have never seen one person in my life besides this dude <laughs> put powder on a glove. No, no. Powder is for bare hands. Gymnasts use it. And I assume what it is, what, what powder probably helps is grip is what I'm guessing. So you're basically contradicting yourself when you have gloves and powder. Yeah. And again, I think it's just a little less uh, callous on your hand. In fact, I'm curious. Uh, let's see here. Absorb sweat and improve grip strength by increasing friction between the hands and the rod. Exactly. So it does help grip. You got gloves on. What do you need the powder for? God. <laughs> you going to super glue your hands to the bar? All right. I think like this I next said, one. Yeah, the only ones I've seen use powder are world's strongest, man. I think bottom line on this clip, the truth is somewhere in the middle. Where, right, throwing baby weight a hundred times isn't the most effective thing probably gonna waste a lot of time while at the same time when you got the whole you know thing of weight and you can only do one or two right it's probably not good either well what sam's doing is bulking what that guy's doing is cardio there's a difference <laughs> lighter weight more yeah. reps is cardio yeah heavier sets lower reps are mass yeah. so there you go Stamina like versus mass. All right, and now I think this. Now I'd like to see a video of Sam running a mile. Now let's see what that, how that goes. <laughs> well, it's funny how I don't think the cardio ever makes it on the YouTube channel. Funny how that works, because <laughs> cardio is what burns fat. Unless he's doing something else that's burning the fat. I, you tell me. Vitamin S. All right, I think this next clip I got to turn off the audio. We'll still be able to hear it, but because okay. it's like a song. Yep. So yeah, what about this workout? What about that cardio on the squat machine? <laughs> he looks like he's gonna do kung fu. <laughs> Butt squats? <laughs> yep, no, 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 done, bye. <laughs> Ooh, what about that? A little kung fu hitting he's the, doing the, hitting um, the pole? Yeah, he's doing the old school, what are those, like, boxers that punch the concrete. That's a, that a man. I've seen people do that to strengthen their abs. I've never seen that done before. That guy, look, that guy looks like he's, like, a preparing to throw down shit. I feel like when you're doing the tri-arm... This is probably well, triceps. Think, yeah, but I you don't have to down. go all the way down. I feel like when you're you going, stand up straight and just do this. Yeah, I feel like he's obviously got like training for something. The littlest bit of weight <laughs> on there, or no weight at all. That obviously. move is typically what you do with the medicine ball, not <laughs> not a tricep thing. Yeah, so he's got that fucked up. I don't know what that is. <laughs> What's that? 
No, no, <laughs> no, no. Not safe? Dude's balancing on a medicine ball with a bar? No. No, 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 no. How much weight? You Don't ever do are, that. Do you think those are 25? Yeah, those are 25s. Don't ever do that. Right. And that's that's a problem waiting to happen. That falls on your neck. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you do in the crab walk series? It looks like she's, uh... Maybe she's getting ready to go under the water. I don't know. <laughs> That guy's just ready for a power walk. There's no benefit to that. That'll just snap your back. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Stupidity has no bounds. Next time you want to skip legs or you consider skipping leg day, uh, just know that unless you have a good reason, uh, you are a pussy. Uh, Alright, that was the last one. So, <laughs> are you a pussy if you skip leg day? I uh, know. <laughs> but I mean, when Royds and Jim is your whole life, then maybe I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. We I mean, have nothing outside of that. <laughs> <laughs>